I feel like such a tourist. Damn it. Hello and welcome to a new vlog. Um, I'm doing this as I'm going to sleep, but my brain is switched on, so I just thought. So I'm in Doha, as you may have seen from the last vlog. I'm here for work. It's the Match for Hope, and I'm just covering content around that. And Match for Hope is a charity football match. It is Chunks versus Abofla, and they have their own teams. There's Young Philly, there's Kaka, there's David Villa, there's... Harry, there is Casper Lee. Um, I think Speed was supposed to play. He's here, but his leg's broken, so I think he'll just watch. Uh, Sharky's here. Everyone's, everyone that is relevant right now is here. And yeah, it's really cool. We're all staying in the same building. I didn't want to say it in my last vlog, just out of like respect for everyone else and out of just safety, but then everyone knows where they're staying because they posted on their stories so we're at fairmont luzale um this vlog will go up when we're already checked out it was so funny there was like a bunch of teenage boys downstairs in the lobby earlier like waiting for everyone and i think they wanted to take pictures or say hi or whatever but it's really cool we're all in the same hotel we're all staying here for the next few days and there's different things going on on each day. So today was the gala. I only got a bit of footage, I'll show you. I'm going to a gala dinner. The lift is gonna stop, I'm shy. There's a gala dinner. I'm going to it, it was very last minute, but um, it'll be fun, I'll vlog as much as I can. But let's go. And then tomorrow, I'm not sure what's going on, but I know in the evening there's a training session, so we're gonna go check that out. And then Friday's the last day, and it's the day of the match, which is also in the evening, so I'll take you along for that as well. And besides that, I just wanna check out Doha. The last time I was here was eight years ago, and it did not look like this, or at least I don't remember it looking like this. I didn't appreciate it as much as I do now, but it's such a beautiful, beautiful city. And I really want to go out and explore. My cousin lives here. So I want to see her and like maybe she'll take me somewhere. Or otherwise I'll go with my friend or maybe friends that I make along the way. And go check out different spaces. I want to go to the National Museum. I want to go to the Islamic Museum. I want to go to something that's like a Ferris wheel kind of looking thing outside. I want to go see what that's about. It just looks so cute and so pretty. And I definitely want to walk around a little bit. And the weather is so nice so that's it that's my intro and then i'm gonna edit my vlog and go to sleep and then tomorrow let's start doing everything that i just mentioned starting with hotel breakfast also i wanted to get fresh mango juice but they don't have juices right now and they only have soft drinks but that's not what i want i really oh i was so excited for a mango juice man but whatever good night also so interesting it was just an it was less than an hour of a flight but doha is an hour behind dubai it makes no sense to me it makes no sense at all how does that how does that work you know anyway i'm watching a podcast on a youtuber that i really like and it's so cringe. Ugh, I hate when people talk about simple creative things and they try to make it a lot deeper than it actually is. And you can tell that they're bullshitting their way. But it's just like, dude, just admit that it's just not that deep. Like, you pick that angle because it looks cool, not because of, you know. This entire podcast episode is making me cringe so hard and I'm kind of not looking at the person the same way anymore. I think I need to stop watching it. It's too much. Anyway, hey, welcome to a new vlog. We'll do this tomorrow. Good morning. I didn't end up editing anything yesterday because I was so sleepy. But I'm gonna do that now. I'm gonna go downstairs, grab breakfast. I'll take my laptop with me and we'll do everything there. I don't know if anyone else is downstairs, but maybe I'll bump into people. I don't know, let's see. 
this little brush is the only one that I packed. <laughs> but she's the only one that I need, honestly. She's doing the job. Done. Done, done, done. This was supposed to be my breakfast outfit, but I was so cold last night and I fell asleep in it, but we can now go have breakfast in it. I'm just gonna wear this under and yeah, no one besides you knows that I just slept in this, so we're good. <laughs> forgot to vlog i'm sorry uh i was downstairs editing my vlog and then i went to shoot a few people and then now i'm gonna order food i think my cousin is gonna come get me and we're gonna go out i want to go to the museum i want to check it out and i want to get some content for work and all of that but until then i want to have a little a little something to eat you know If you saw my last vlog, you know I have really bad luck with this phone. We remain on the line and we will be with you shortly. Can I please have the kids nuggets and a burrata, please? That's all, thank you. And can you make sure it comes with ketchup, mustard, and mayo? Perfect, thank you very much. Bye. I'll give you a quick tour of my room. So we're staying at Fairmont. Um, the housekeeping was just here, so everything looks clean, so I thought it's the best time. Then, and then that's the little dressing room, then the bedroom. So you can also go from here in a little walkway. This is the desk I haven't used because I keep using that one. And then, massive TV. Um, chilling area, workstation. And then, the best part is this balcony. Isn't that massive? These buildings are technically one, like it's attached, so that's that. This is us, but this is Fairmont and that's Raffles. And then I have a view of this, the city, and then the ocean. And I'm gonna keep the window open a little bit so I can get some fresh air while I work because it's so windy outside and I wanna sit outside, but I can't do it out, you know. I'm falling asleep. full length mirror in this hotel but I'm wearing a vest and black cargos and my night at night whoa my new balance and the glasses are gentle monster as always and my bag is the Prada one because I put my mic and everything in here and then this is full girl it has everything it has my portable charger my wallet my cable my GoPro it's all in there my airpods are here I want to go out and I want to actually check out Doha, but I don't want to wait on people because I think everyone's doing their own thing. I don't want to be like, hey, you want to come out with me? So um, I'm going to go check out the city by myself. I'm going to grab an Uber and ask the concierge which museum is the closest and the best to check out. I want to go visit the museum. I want to get some content around the museum as well. And then if there's still time, maybe go to other places. And if not, come back because the team has their training tonight let's go hopefully we find a museum hopefully there are tickets hopefully i know how to do something touristy for the first time in a while actually for the first time by myself ever so let's go
I feel like such a tourist but this place is so sick it's kind of annoying that they have like the red thingies everywhere but this place looks insane wow well, and I haven't even been inside yet so let's see what it's like but I was just like taking it in I was like damn girl you're really out here you're really out here I've seen so many pictures of this place but it feels so so different to the pictures and it's really cool to be able to check it out IRL Um, I'm on the outside area of the museum. Uh, it's so cool. I've seen so many pictures and videos and stuff of the National Museum, but I never had the chance to see it. And now, because of flying and then doing things by myself, I'm actually able to check it out. Um, I didn't want to wait on anybody to make this plan, so I just came by myself, which is also out of my comfort zone. But I did it, and then there was also an older French man uh, in the museum, and we had a small conversation. I speak, I know like the tiniest, tiniest bit of French from school, but I'm also doing my Duolingo to get better. And I think I did an okay job. It was a very short conversation, but I think I was okay. He understood me, so that is great. So it was really nice to speak French. Um, and then, yeah, the museum just looks really sick. I wish I had more time because I really wanted to go to the Islamic Museum as well but it's already five-ish and I have to be at training soon so I need to go back to the hotel change shower I think and then head there but yeah I'm so happy I did this I'm so happy I came I love Doha I really want to explore more hopefully I get to do that tomorrow I'm going to find a way to reconnect to the wi-fi of the museum um, because I need to order an uber to get out but look look at this cute place and then you see the city in the back um yeah, I was just kind of like taking it all in, you know? Such a cool experience. Anyway, let's go figure out this whole Wi Fi situation. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I thought I walked into the wrong room because there's this spa music playing, but they did it for me. I can't find the remote. There she is. I'm back in my room. I'm in PJs. So after the museum, I came back to the hotel and then we had to rush out because we were going for everyone's training. And then we were at training. I got a bit of footage from that. And then, and then, and then. And then me and a bunch of friends went to an Iranian restaurant. And then after that, we split. Some went for a meeting and then some of us came back to the hotel. I just came up, changed my clothes and went back down to the lobby. We were chilling in the lobby for a couple of hours and I just came up now. It is, I think, almost 1 a.m. And yes, I'm going to go to sleep tomorrow, though. My cousin's going to come get me tomorrow at 11-ish and we're gonna go out she's gonna show me around i think i want to go to the souk i want to go to maybe another museum and just check out the city and see what is going on but yeah and then after that i have to come back change and then go to the match and then that's it that's the end of the trip then we fly back on saturday morning and then on Saturday afternoon in Dubai, I have a brunch. <laughs> okay, I have to make sure I sleep properly tomorrow night. And tonight, actually. So yeah, let's go. I'm going to take off my makeup and go to sleep. And then I'll shower in the morning. I'm too tired to do that now. So good night. See you at breakfast, maybe. I don't know. Let's see. Here's my outfit. Hank skins. I forgot where this is from. I write it down. Jeans. I forgot where it's from. I write it down. Samba. Gentle monster. And my hair. That was quick. Tell the 
insane but team chunks won and match for hope raised over 32 million other reals which is hi how are you anyway and then now i'm back in the hotel i is my yes hi is anything open any of the restaurants no at the moment no unless maybe you go to this raffles on the other side of the tower so I just got back to the hotel. They left this box. It says FIFA World Cup winners. And it's just the names of all the countries that have won the World Cup in the past. And it's a little sand. And I love the bottle. I want to keep this as like cute little memes for future Cami every time she doubts something, you know? It's so cute. Let me show you from the front camera. So that's all the different countries. But it looks so sick. I love, I love that. I'm excited to put these in my room. Use them and then put them in my room. An overall review of this trip. It was sick. It was so much fun. It was um, out of my comfort zone. It was interesting. I made new friends. Everyone was super nice. Um, and yeah i'm so excited i hope they do this again and we all get to reconnect but yeah i'm gonna change i think and see what the food situation is because some of us want to go eat but all the restaurants are closed it's not even 1 a.m actually but they're all closed i'm gonna see what the tea is if no one is down to go out to eat then i'll probably just call it a night i have to wake up in five ish hours because I have to leave the hotel at like 6.15 post checkout because my flight is at 8.45. So, oh my God, I need to pack. <sighs> okay, let's pack first and then, yeah, let's pack first, hold on. I have one thing at a time. All restaurants and everything are closed. I'm gonna order in-room dining and then start packing. By the time I finish packing, my in-room dining will be here. And then we eat, we sleep, we wake up soon, you know? My problem is I'm not even, I'm not that hungry, but I feel like because I know everyone is eating right now, I feel like I need to eat as well. And then today I have to wake up, I have to get up really early and then the flight is just, less than an hour and there's no food on the flight and then as soon as i land i'm gonna go home change and then head to brunch what am i eating you know i won't eat until 1 ish p.m no i'm not hungry i'm not gonna i'm not ordering anything let's pack and get ready for bed Good morning, I'm Sophie. Can I assist you? Hi, how are you? Good my name is Kamala. How may I assist you? Um, okay. I'm just checking out and I need someone to please help me with my bags. Is the that's bag? okay? Yes. Certainly, madam. Good morning. It's not even like really sunny yet. Where is where is the sun? I slept at like 2 30, I think, and woke up at 5 30. I did my entire skincare. My suitcase is there, as you can see. Uh, I'm just gonna put my shoes on and then let's go. Let's go home. I don't know why I'm sitting on the floor to do this. This is not hygienic at all, but my energy levels are so low, too low to care. But when I'm editing this, I'm gonna be cringing. Okay, someone's here to help me. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good. 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 Yes, of course. The people in this hotel are so nice. I don't know if it's because they just have to be, but they just are, man. 
They just are. Quick fit. These are my pants. And this is the matching jacket. Do I feel a little bit like... Yes, I do. But I love her. And she's so comfy and she has a hood for the plane, which is lovely. Um, this is by Arsini, in case you wanted to know. And then bag is the same Prada one. And then my glasses are Gentle Monsters Always and my top is skims so let's go downstairs let's check out and then head to the airport do i did i forget anything cami think about it no we're good man oh my razor wow man my body wash that i can't live without and my razor nice one i don't know if i'm gonna have a place to put my body wash but it's so full, I feel like, I feel really bad for just leaving it. And I'm kind of embarrassed to like take it down and be like, sorry, I forgot to put my body wash. Okay, I have a bag, I'm gonna put it in the bag and then I'll figure it out when I go downstairs. Damn it, I knew something was wrong. Okay, bye room. thank you so much for the experience, love you. Mm. I'm done. I didn't even need to check out really, I just said I'm checking out and then he's like, oh, bye. <laughs> um, just waiting for my friends. And then we're gonna head out. Ah.